Hey gang, hey gang, hey gang. Hey. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> the first bit of this video is a bit messed up. I got the angle wrong, but I do I fix, I fix it. Okay, I've got the hiccups. Not I, Oh, I'm using this foil. Um, <laughs> diamond glitters. And I'm using Deep Secret. You can see how I've got the angle wrong. And khaki, autumn khaki and birthday suit. That's what those cup colours are. Oh my goodness, I've just instantly got the hiccups. Um, it's sat no, it's Sunday, therefore I've had a little smidge of a little smidge of roux of Bailey's, so, um, I just, <laughs> I thought I'd get this done now so I can post it tomorrow, but the hiccups just kicked in. Yes, okay, I'm a bit tipsy. What, what, you know, just let, let me, let me have this one, okay? I know I was tipsy in the la last video, but, or was it the one before? Who knows? I'm always tipsy. I've done two coats of deep secret on the top portion of that nail. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and then I've done birthday suit at the bottom, just one coat. I'm going to wipe and buff. There's my little X marks the spot. That's how I stay in shot. And um, I'm using foil it, which is the gel perfection foil gel. The hiccups have stopped. This is. Oh no, they haven't. <laughs> I was just going to say, this is good news, but it's not. Uh, I'm going to cure the foil, foil <laughs> for two minutes and I'm going to take this um, transfer foil, foil, oh for fuck's sake, um, and place that. The reason I wiped and buffed is so that I can put the foil gel on. It's not going to stick to anywhere other than where I put the foil, foil gel because um, sometimes it will stick to the tacky layer of the gel, gel polish. Um, so I wanted to wipe and buff everything first. Uh, I'm just pressing, press. <laughs> I'm just rolling around on my bed, drinking Bailey, Bailey's. I've got clients in the morning. Who, what, what are you going to do? Nothing. You're going to drink Bailey's. That's what you're going to do. <laughs> I swallowed at the same time. Um, I'm taking this striping tape um, and I'm going to... Put it over the line so it doesn't matter if you don't get the line too neat because we're going to cover it with if i can get get the grip of it with the striping tape and then we're going to cut that just a little bit shy well i say we're going to i don't i don't cut it shy because i'm like it's a pop it's not going anywhere it doesn't have to go through any of the daily life struggles that a normal person's hands would go through i'm just going to cut it so it matches the end which was a bad idea and you'll see in a minute that it, you, you'll see you'll see just keep watching okay bear with um so i then decided to top this um i wanted it matte if you're doing this on a person, that's why I'm showing you here. I'm going to top it with diamond gloss. Diamond gloss first. Matte top coat and foils tend to not really like each other. So if you're ever going to put matte top coat on foils, I suggest doing a um, shiny top coat first. If it's um, a no white top coat, then I would buff before doing the matte. If it's a tacky top coat, then go straight on with the matte. Um, and you can see there on the side that that's where I didn't cut it um, short enough just to seal it all in. Um, but obviously you will do that because, you know, you're not pissed half the time. Maybe you are. <laughs> Come join me. Um, so that's that one done. I'm going to, although I say it's done, it's not done because I go back and faff around with it some more. I've done a coat of birthday suit um, and cured it. I'm now doing a coat of foil it and that's going to have two minutes in the lamp. And then we're going to, this nail is just going to be, oh, fluff get out of here um this now is going to be all foil the reason i did it like this i hate putting foils when i'm using pops on these stick things i just can't press enough and i didn't know where i couldn't see what i was doing and blah, blah, blah. you know when you hold a foil over someone's nail and you're like i can't see your nail through this i don't know where i'm putting it this is just guesswork so i decided to place it um on my desk and then just put the nail where i wanted it so i'm rubbing that as usual as per me i'm rubbing more than necessary just ironing out any creases it's transferred you know stop what you're doing just stop faffing about but i keep doing it anyway um and then oh yeah I, uh, see oh, and then i've moved the pop on the thing and the blue tack and the blah 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 um and i'm now instead of doing the diamond gloss and then matte topping because i thought like i say this is a pop it's not got anything to endure so i'm going straight on with the matte top coat um, and it looks pretty. Hello. Oh, I hate hand painting flowers, so foils are just perfect. Uh, I'm now using autumn khaki, 
I fucking love this colour. As soon as it came in, I put it on. I, I'm not a green fan, but I like it. I like it a lot. Um, what are we putting here? Um, oh, that was the first base, which is the gel perfection base coat. I'm going to take champagne metallic. It's 004, so it's super fine glitter. Super fine. Um, and I'm going to do a glitter fade just from the top. So pop some on my brush and as I work, 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 work it. As I work it down, it will obviously, you'll have less on your brush as it sticks to the gel and then just make a fade. This is not a good glitter fade. It, I, I, I cocked this up. I don't know why, but um, I do know why. I've lost my mojo, guys. I've lost it. I'm not feeling it at the moment. I go through, this happens every so often. Um and it's normal I'm t i cured that so that glitter went onto the wet base coat i cured it and now topping it and then i'm gonna buff it and top it again um but yeah i've lost my mojo like and there's no ideas in my head i can't think of anything um i'm not in the mood to go up and do anything um but i was in the mood but i still couldn't think think of anything so this is kind of a, a bit of a basic design i'm using air quotes because you know there's, no, there's, there wasn't really much effort involved. Um, I've buffed that. I've just filed any um, pokey bits on the side, and that's going to be topped with diamond gloss. So because that's shiny, I thought about doing it matte, and then I thought, no, I don't want to put matte on glitter. I just can't bring myself to do it. So then I thought, we need to incorporate the shiny in other places. If you're doing something, like if people have an accent nail, like a lot of the time I'll think, we need to tie in whatever's going on on the accent nail. Oh, oh the hiccups have stopped. Yay. we need to tie it in somewhere else as well so it kind of all flows nicely so we've got the shiny on there and then i've done the shiny on the top half of the other one uh, i'm now taking birthday suit and i'm going to do the same as the half um deep secret and half floral foil but i'm going to do it the other way around and i'm going to put green at the bottom uh, so if i was doing this on a person obviously you can't work backwards like that so I'd work from the cuticle and then use a liner brush just to neaten that line. It doesn't, like I say, it doesn't have to be that neat because you're going to cover it in striping tape. Um, and that had a cure and now I'm using foil it and I'm going to plonk, plonk. That's not a very nice word, is it? Just chuck that on there, give it a rub, blob your uncle. Um, so I'm going to put some foil it, uh, the foil, 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 foil on there. Um... I was about to say something about how I'd do it differently if I was on a person. Oh, so that, that one that where I just went in and added some shiny top coat um, to part of the deep secret, the ready plummy colour. Um, because I would always do a coat of shiny top coat before doing a matte top coat when using foils, I would have just then left it shiny and then just matted the bottom half. Um, so I was just deciding then what colour I needed a bit more of. So we're going to do the Autumn Khaki. Um, and then I'm going to do two coats of that and then striping tape again. Do I cut this shy? Did I learn from my mistakes? Oh, I tell you what, tell you what happened here. Oh, I, I, was, I was having a real sort of... I'm having one of those days where everything goes wrong, you know. I, try, I, caught, I caught a moth. It's a fuck off huge moth came in the house so I, it landed on the cupboard i put a mug over it slid some paper under the mug went to take it outside and just release it you know be nice be a good person drop the mug mug smashed everywhere i had to go out there with a dustpan and brush so the dog doesn't get any broken mug in his paws search around the grass for it everything's going wrong today um that's sort of just annoying things happening so i was having a you know a bit of drama with just cutting a piece of striping tape i mean come on it's not rocket science so this one oh breathe this one i'm doing two coats of deep secret um and then what are we doing oh yes so i wanted to put some striping tape on here down the center and then changed my mind halfway through so i'm going to knock it over bash the camera i bash that with my head um and then i'm going to cut it short um quite a bit short because i'm going to put some crystals on here so i'm cutting that so it's just in the center make sure that's lying flat um with your fingers or whatever uh, um and then i'm using super base 
um, which is the gel perfection gel gel perfection rubber base coat. And I'm taking these crystals, which are also from diamondglitters.co.uk. Um, you can use code Team DG for a discount on that website as well. Uh, these are the peach crystals. You get loads in a pot, and they're all different sizes, so you don't have to worry about you know buying certain crystals in like 20 different sizes you've just got a whole bunch in there it's fantastic uh, and i'm doing a big one and a small one and then i'm totally out of shot um i was going to do a small one and then a big one but i realized i did want the small one at the tip so i did big small and then big small again and then i will cure that and then i'm going to um top it with diamond gloss of course of course of course love um, of course, of course, um, and that just sealing in around the crystals as well to make sure they stay put, and then adding some more crystals um, to here because I decided everywhere needs crystals. Once you get them out, you think, oh, now it looks a bit naked without some, and I just wanted to add it, add something else because I was very aware that this set was a bit plain Jane, um, so that is um uh oh god brain stopped what's happening i don't know where are we who am i um if i was doing that on a person i would um do that before topping so put the um super base on put the crystals in and then cure that and then top and then i thought well do you know what if we've got crystals we may as well have them goddamn everywhere so i wanted to put someone here as well again i would do um, that before matte topping if it was on a person but obviously this was just a last minute decision um, so that's that and that is all of them uh, nothing too fancy nothing hard work uh, but just a bit autumn all right stop fucking about woman um, something autumnal I love these colors I hope you like it too let me know what you think down below is it awful or do you like it would you wear it who just tell me tell me everything um, thank you for watching. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Miss Shows Nelco. Uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, bye.